Andre, it's so nice to see you. I'm not certain I read the news release properly, but your company has made a deal with an $87 billion size market cap company. Is that correct? Oh, that's really correct, yes. And I, nice to see you again, too, uh, Tracy. And of course, it's my understanding that with this company, uh, according to one of the research reports I read, uh, this company has what is it, uh, 15,000 plus stores across Canada and you have exclusive distribution rights for your Flare AI technology. Right, so what we did with Essilor, uh, Essilor's market is essentially um, uh, just uh, the optometry market. So they sell um, lenses, uh, uh, eyewear to them, and uh, they're a 24.4 billion euro company on an annual basis so they actually sell about 100 million euro per day and <clears throat> their market like i said is really optometry what we did with new look is actually build a, a specific version of our software to analyze retina images for optometrists and uh, our latest release is going to go into production next week and based on that uh, that's one of the reasons that Essilor has decided to go with diagnose they also analyze every single company in our space worldwide, in China, in the U.S., and all over the place. And uh, we came up the winner uh, as our first AI company to help Essilor Luxonica. So specifically in terms of stores, in Canada, we're going to go after 3,600 new stores. A new Look has 400, so that's not part of the 3,600. And also we have uh, we have uh, a uh, a commitment from uh, Essilor to start working with their existing banners. So the banners that belong to Essilor 100%, such as LensCrafter, Pearl Vision, and they have many, many uh, around the world. So we're going to be attacking this uh, in parallel with Essilor Canada. Okay, and allow me to correct myself. Uh, they've got... 18,000 retail store base and 4,000 Canadian distribution clients. If I read this correctly, um, they're anticipating revenue for Diagnose, which basically exceeds your current market valuation for next year. Did yes. I read that correct? Yes, that's kind of correct. Yes. Uh, you know, the, uh, the approach that, we're, that we have with Essilor is a very strategic one. Uh, the main objective is to actually increase the number of people going into their stores. And one way to do this is to make the optometrist more productive. So meaning they can see more patients. So with our technology, we're, we're gonna increase the number of uh, new uh, walk-ins or new um, uh, tests per patient by two patients per day per store. It doesn't look like much, but when you have 18,000 store, it gets to very, very, very large numbers. So uh, and so that's what we're going to do with them. I, I, I would like to go back for just a second, though. I mean, SLR could select anybody with the size of their company. They picked yeah. Diagnose for Canada. Clearly, the Flare AI, AI technology is something that they find competitive. Can you talk to me a little bit more about how you were selected in this process? And I'm certain that investors out there are going, how long does it take for, respectfully, a small cap company to go in and make a deal with a multi-billion dollar, nearly a hundred billion dollar market cap company? Mm -hmm. Well, it's uh, two good questions. So the, the, the first answer is uh, from a technology perspective, they, they were looking for a, a platform that is open, number one. So we work with all these different cameras. They were also looking for a partner for the future, and we have three new applications that are going to be rolled out in the next few months. And so based on that, none of our competitors were uh, actually at the same level as Diagnose. So the investment, the strategic investment that I did and, and the architecture of what I built was the winner in terms of technology, okay? The second part is that they wanted a partner that was flexible. Meaning, if they want to turn left, I got to turn left. So if they want to go after a new camera or a new service, I will do it. Uh, I told them uh, one of the key 
things that they were looking for is uh, these new ISO certification for cybersecurity. We do all our transaction on the net, on the net, right? So we're a, you know a SaaS based model. Now the cybersecurity protocol is called twenty seven zero zero one is extremely complicated to, to, to deal with. It has to do with confidential information, how, what you do, how you treat it. Uh, so we committed to become a 27,000 um, approved uh, this year, probably in the next six months. Again, the other competitors didn't want to do this because it's very, very complicated. Uh, and so, um, so that's a, another reason. Now, your last question, is is uh, is important too? You know why why do they pick a little company in Quebec of fourteen people? I mean, there's the technology, but there's also the sense that of uh, partnership with them. I've been working on this for three years, so it's not something that's new. I mean, COVID didn't didn't did slow us down enormously. Even after COVID, it was very slow, uh, and now I think the markets are coming back to almost to be normal. And uh, we were patient enough to work with them. And, you know, I, I went to Paris many times in Italy. I mean, that's where the head office are. Uh, I got to build relationships with these people. They're very, very nice people. Uh, and I think my background uh, added a lot to it because I worked for multinationals all my life. I mean, Diagnose for me is, a, it was, I left the big companies to start Diagnose, basically. So I know and I understand uh, how to talk to them. And uh, and it's not just telling them what they, they want to hear. For example, they wanted me to take care of the U.S. I said, well, I can't. I mean, if I tell you I can do it today, and if I screw up, then I lose everything. So I said, I'd rather start with Canada. And by the way, it's, it's still a $75 million market with one test. Once I have four tests, you're looking at like a, a quarter billion dollar market just here in Canada. I said, let me start with Canada. And in parallel, we'll, we'll, we'll take on some of the projects in the U.S., not all of them, because I cannot. So we're going to grow. Uh, you know, it's uh, for us, it's really uh, a game changer, like we say in the business, right? Uh, we're going to grow. We're 14 people. Uh, we just hired a, a number 15. And, you know, we probably have to hire no more than six to 10 people to actually uh, handle the load for Canada and part of the other, uh, what the other countries they want to do also. Well, you just answered my next question was, how are you going to deal with the growth demands that are obviously going to, going to happen here? Yeah. But, so you know, like, your expertise. Like said, we start with Canada yep. and, and then at, in parallel, we'll do some other ones. But we need to to be, uh, you know, I, I'm very conscious that I cannot do everything in what, today. But I know one thing, we're going to grow and what we do is sustainable. And I don't think there's any more risk. We're going to grow. And we're going to grow, even if it's a slow pace, it's always going to grow every month. So I'm pretty excited. I mean, I don't sleep at night because now, you know, we, it's like having a real, real big multinational business. Well, on that note, we'd like to congratulate you on your news. We'd also like to congratulate to the, the institution that was sharp enough to initiate a research report on you so rapidly. Congratulations, Andre, and we hope you will do regular interviews with us and or have your team do it as you're trying to keep up with the pace and the demand of 2024. Happy yeah. holidays. Thank you very much, Tracy.